Welcome to Electron Online. It turns out that a pendulum is actually a very good apparatus to measure the acceleration due to gravity anywhere on the surface of the Earth. Or by that matter, you could go to the Moon and do the same thing, although it's more practical to try and do it on the Earth since we haven't been to the Moon in over 50 years. Has it been over 50 years? Well, let's see, the last moon landing was 1972. Well, it hasn't been quite 50 years, but it was a long time ago. Let's say we go to the top of a mountain, we take out a pendulum, let's say the pendulum has a length of exactly one meter, we allow it to oscillate back and forth 100 times, and we measure the time for 100 oscillations, and the time is 201 seconds. What is the acceleration due to gravity at the top of that mountain? We use the simple equation that omega, the angle of frequency, is equal to the square root of g over l. We also realize that omega is equal to 2 pi times the oscillatory frequency, which means that the frequency is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi times omega. And since the period is equal to 1 divided by the frequency, the inverse of the frequency, this can then be written as 2 pi times the inverse of omega, 1 over omega. Since omega is equal to the square root of g over l, the inverse of that would be the square root of l over g. That means that the period is equal to 2 pi times the square root of l divided by g. Solving this equation for g, we can square both sides. t squared is equal to 4 pi squared times l divided by g, or we can say that g is equal to 4 pi squared times the length of the pendulum divided by the period squared. If we plug that over here, we say g is equal to 4 pi squared times the length divided by the period squared, and then we go back to our experiment. We have 100 oscillations taking 201 seconds, that means a single oscillation, the period of a single oscillation, is equal to 201 seconds divided by 100 oscillations, that means that the period is equal to 2.01 seconds for one oscillation. Notice the reason why we measure so many oscillations is that the error in our measurement for the time and the period, the time for a single period is much smaller. It's much easier to measure 100 oscillations to the near one second than to try and measure a single period to the nearest one one hundred of a second. Plugging all that information into the equation, we can then see that g... 1 squared equals and there, the acceleration due to gravity would be 9.77 meters per second squared. You can see that it's a very easy and quick method to find the acceleration of gravity anywhere on the Earth. You may want to try it sometime and find out what the acceleration due to gravity is where you live. And that's how we do that.